the raised state flag over a building in the town of Doma has heralded the control over this location and therefore over the whole of eastern Gouda, Major General Yuri Yavtushenko, head of the Russian Peace and Reconciliation Center in Syria, was quoted as saying by Russian news agencies. Russian military police were deployed in Doma on Thursday in accordance with the rebel surrender deal, Russia's RIA news agency reported. Some 40,000 people, including thousands of rebels and their families, are leaving Doma for opposition areas in northern Syria under the agreement. Iran stands by Assad on Wednesday, a top official from Iran, Assad's other main ally, toured eastern Ghouta and vowed to stand by Syria in the face of any foreign aggression. Syria's enemies are angry because of its military advances against terrorist groups, Ali Akbar Velayati, Supreme Leader Ali Khomeini's top advisor, told Iranian state TV during his visit to eastern Ghouta's bomb-shattered ruins. On Wednesday, U.S. President Donald Trump said that American missiles will be coming to Syria as he and other Western countries weigh military action over the suspected chemical attack in Doma. Both Syria and Russia have said reports of the attack were fabricated by rebels and rescue workers in the town and have accused the U.S. of seeking to use it as a pretext to attack the government. Consultations are ongoing between the Allies and they will not let matters progress as Washington wants, she told Lebanon's Al Mayadeen channel, referring to the alliance of Assad, Russia, Iran and the Lebanese Shiite group Hezbollah.